Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to do print and cut with glossy sticker paper. So what you're going to need for this is printer paper, glossy sticker paper, a Cricut mat, and tape. Any kind of tape will do. I am using regular tape for this project. Some people recommend uh, painter's tape, but I regular tape works just fine. So let's head over into Cricut design space. So I've been using a print and cut for a, quite a while and recently I have bought a pack of glossy sticker paper and I ran into a problem. My Cricut machine would not cut out the images properly on the glossy sticker paper. I've done research on why this is. I've I've tried to calibrate the machine. I've tried over and over and over to cut on sticker paper and it just sometimes it doesn't scan it properly and it won't cut at all. Sometimes it'll cut but it'll cut the images way off. It's just been a complete nightmare cutting on glossy sticker paper and I finally found a solution to the problem. There's not a lot of answers out there for this issue and I figure other people might be having the same problem I have. So I decided to make this video just to give a answer to anybody that needs it on how to do print and cut through the Cricut app with glossy sticker paper. Now from what I understand, the reason this happens is because of the glossy sticker paper, like what the Cricut does is it scans the black box that it makes around your print and cut to, fig to know where to cut. Now, from what I understand, the light that scans this box, because of the glossy sticker paper, the, it reflects back at the light so it's not able to read the black box that it scans properly. So that is why I'm figuring I'm having this issue with it not being able to scan properly and not cutting properly. So we are going to go over how to do print and cut where you can cut on the glossy sticker paper and the cut will come out properly. So the first thing I, I did was I'm going to get into the Cricut program and I'm going to show you how to set this up. So I make uh, the, some stickers that I'm going to print out and cut and I'm going to show you the process of how I did it. I made, with the print and cut program, you only have so much pay or so much space on the sticker paper. The big gray box is how much space I have to work with. So I make up my stickers that I want. I do a couple new stickers that I haven't done before. I design them all and I'm going to show you the process of how I make or design stickers through the program. So I get the stickers all made up and I lay it out on this gray box so I can get so I can fit in as many stickers as I can possibly fit in in this amount of space so and once I get that all done that then I get into the next step that I have to do to be able to cut these stickers out on um, glossy sticker paper now there are many different methods you can use to make stickers. You Sometimes I will make stickers through 
the Cricut app. Sometimes I will make the stickers through Photoshop. Sometimes I will make them through a couple other programs that I got. It all depends on um, what I find most convenient at the time. There are so many different kinds of stickers that I've been getting into. There's glossy stickers, there's regular matte stickers. I've been trying to work with uh, transparent stickers. So it depends on what I'm doing, what program I use. But uh, for the print and cut, I often find it's very important to use the Cricut app because it makes it most compatible with the print and cut. And there's a lot of great features in the Cricut app. There's welding, contouring, um, slicing, and you can really adjust things how you want. Like I love Photoshop too. Photoshop allows me to make really nice backgrounds. It allows me to do a whole bunch of stuff in Photoshop. I love using Photoshop to edit images and stuff, especially stickers. But if it's more simple, the Cricut app can do the trick because there's so many things you can do inside the Cricut app. And if you're looking for an image to add into your logo or your sticker or whatever, there's thousands upon thousands of images that you can look through on the Cricut app. So once I get all my stickers made up and all aligned up on my space, on my gray rectangle space, and I get them all fit in there just the way I want, what I do is I attach everything that holds everything in place and I duplicate it so that I can start working on how I'm going to get this, get uh, my Cricut to be able to cut out on the glossy sticker paper. So I have it duplicated. So I have the one copy where I'm going to print out on glossy sticker paper. And now I'm going to change everything on my duplicate to just be like the bare shape. I'm going to start turning them all into rectangles and plain rectangles and plain circles. And then once I get that all done, once they're all um, just plain rectangles and circles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch them all back over to print and cut and I'm going to attach them all back up so that they're the reason I t attach them all together is so they cut in that specific order, right? So both of them are in the exact same spots as each other and they're attached the exact same way. So both images will cut exactly the same and it might make more sense why I do this in a little bit. So once I get them I have my page where I'm printing on glossy sticker paper and I've got my page where I'm going to just print um, the plain circles and squares. What I'm going to do is print that out on um, just regular printer paper because it's going, it's going to be throwaway cut anyway. So I just grab a piece of plain printer paper for the plain circles and squares. And this will make sense in just a few minutes. Bear with me. So once I get all of this done, they're both set up to be printed out. One is plain and the other one is the detailed stickers that are going to go on my glossy sticker paper. Once I get that all ready to go, I head over to, now, now I just want to specify, I, the reason why I attach all them together is if I wasn't to attach them all together, then they would just 
um, print and cut in any order. And I need these two pa pages to be identical and you'll see why. Now, I go over and I hit make it and what I do is I print out both copies through my printer. I print out the gray squares and circles on regular printer paper and then I print out the detailed stickers on glossy sticker paper and then what I do is I like I'm going to show you here is I lay down the glossy sticker paper on my Cricut mat and then I tape it down so it's secure and once I get it all taped down secure what I do is I lay over top the the one I printed out on regular printer paper I lay that over top of my stickers now you have to make sure that they're laid the exact same way and that you have them in the order that the the machine is going to cut them so see how I have the circles at the top I make sure that the circles on my papers are at the top of my mat so it's all laid out the exact same way the the app wants to cut it out so I once I get them lined up the exact same way I tape down the printer paper over top of the sticker paper I tape them down together so it's secure and I hit um, I put it into the Cricut machine and I change the dial over to uh, cardstock. Cardstock allows it to cut thicker and this will give the machine, the machine will use enough pressure to cut through the printer paper and the sticker paper. So once I get it all taped down the way I want it, I put it into the machine. I have the dial set to, to cardstock and I hit cut. And now the machine scans the printer paper because there's no gloss so it's able to scan it properly and it cuts out both sheets at the exact same time and what I have my results are my stickers are all cut out now it might cost a little extra to have to print out uh, just the blanket uh, shapes on printer paper but in the end result you have your sticker paper cut out like I lost a lot of glossy sticker paper trying to get this machine to cut out the glossy sticker papers but it just wouldn't it like it made a mess of so many stickers it it cut them all weird the the cuts were way off it was I threw so many sheets away because the machine was having such a hard time scanning the glossy sticker paper. This helped me be able to make glossy stickers. Now what I do is once I have in the, in the Cricut menu or in the Cricut app when I have my project open and I have my stickers all set up and attach to each other to print out the certain way and then I make my duplicate print be ready to be printed out on sticker paper I save that project so from whenever I need to print these stickers out I have both copies ready to go so that both will print out and I don't have to do the this kind of work the next time the stickers are all ready to go all I have to do is open up the project hit make it print both copies and cut them together and it boom done and I can print as many copies as I want this is a lifesaver for those people that are having a hard time cutting with a Cricut machine doing the print and cut. So if you're struggling with print and cut on glossy sticker paper, I hope this um, tip helps you. Saves you a lot of wasted material, saves you a lot of headache. My first um, instinct was to go through um, 
troubleshooting. I thought it was the machine. Then I thought it was my laptop. I didn't understand what was happening. So I actually came ac across this tip and I tried it and it worked. And I just want to get the information out there so that other people might be aware and this might help them. So here is the end result. My glossy stickers all made, all cut out. So I want to thank everybody who tuned into this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope uh, this helped if you're dealing with the same issue I was dealing with. Um, leave me a comment down in the comments if this helped you. If you have some tip that might be more convenient or easier to do, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys for watching and if this video helped you hit that like button and subscribe to see future videos. Have a great day. Bye.